let's begin um, by reading the theme of uh, the supernatural Sunday sermon. It says, greater works than these. Greater works than these. In John 14 and verse 12, Jesus said this, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Greater works than these. Meaning the works that Jesus did. So what were the works that Jesus did? Now Jesus, his ministry in uh, Matthew 4, 23, we see that his ministry was marked by primarily three things that he did. He went preaching, he went teaching, and he also healed. Matthew 15, 30, then great multitudes came to him, having with them the lame, blind, mute, maimed, and many others. And they laid them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. They had confidence that Jesus can do this over and over and over again. And so you see that the multitudes are bringing all their sick and laid them, laid them down at Jesus' feet. John 21, 25 records. And there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written one by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. So there are those many wondrous miracles of God that Jesus demonstrated that it's not easy to record every single one of them. So when Jesus was saying, you shall do greater works than these, this is what he meant. The works of Jesus brought health, it brought um, deliverance, wholeness, restoration, justice and peace into the lives of the people. He destroyed the works of the devil. Wherever he saw the oppression of the devil, whether in the form of sickness, whether in the form of you know, anything else that the enemy was, was doing, you know, he was there to overcome it. And so much more for us now after the cross, because Jesus has already paid the price for us on the cross of Calvary. So this is about the works of Jesus. Now Jesus also, said that the works that he did are the Father's works. What are these Father's works? Jesus came to reveal the Father to us. And that's what the scripture says, that Jesus is the revelation of the Father. This morning, the way we worship, the way we, we, we um, you know, we pressed into the presence of God, the way we, we wanted to experience the presence of God, you know, that, uh, that becomes the, the foundation of a life that will declare the greater works of God. And, and so you know, we must be undergirded with that kind of a passion and a pursuit of God's presence and God's word. And from there, the way we read, you know, Jesus revealed the Father, we too will be able to reveal the works of God uh, in and through our lives. It is the Lord Jesus who put an emphasis on the works of the Father. John 5, where he says, uh, if I don't do the works of my Father, he says, don't believe me. But because I'm doing the works of the Father, these works are a witness that I am of the Father. These works signify that the Lord Jesus is the Messiah. And for us today, church, I just want to remind us that we are here with the same mandate. Now, nothing has changed in what Jesus said. And he said in John 14, 12, He who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do because I go to my father. How are we able to do these greater works? Have you ever wondered, how is it that I can do these greater works? Well, Jesus said, because I go to my father. And because he went to his father, what he did is he sent the Holy Spirit to us. Amen? And when the Holy Spirit is with us, we are empowered to do 
these greater works so we can flow in the greater works not because of you know who we are but because of the power of the holy spirit who works through us church i want to encourage us let's press in to these greater works and let's say god you said he who believes in me shall do the works that i do and even greater than these